When setting up any wireless network, the goal is to keep it secure and efficient. When setting it up for a business, additional configurations are needed so that users can be authenticated and given access to specific company resources. This may seem complicated, but don't worry, you've got this. By setting up RADIUS authentication and assigning VLANs to streamline network management, you can ensure that each user connects securely to the network and automatically to the correct space. In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll show you how to use Free Radius Server on Ubuntu and WPA2 Enterprise to authenticate Wi-Fi clients on a CBW150AX wireless access point, AP. I will also demonstrate the assigning of VLANs. Next. In the following network topology, I have a Windows 11 laptop acting as a DHCP client and as the RADIUS supplicant, or 802.1x EAPOL client. The CBW150AP is the RADIUS client with an IP address of 172.16.1.124. It acts as the authenticator PAE that controls network access. I also have a RADIUS server at IP address 172.16.1.120, which is an Ubuntu server serving as the authentication server for network policy and access services. Although Cisco does not officially support RADIUS server configuration, I want to mention several settings on my end. In the clients.conf file for free RADIUS, the client CBW150 has the following IP address and secret. Some users have been added to the user's file. The tunnel type was set as VLAN. The tunnel medium type was set to IEEE 802. And the tunnel private group ID was set to 3, which means VLAN 3. For the admin graphical user interface, GUI login, I'll use admin as the user and admin as the password. This service type is set to administrative user. In the EAP file, the default EAP type has been changed to MSCHAP version 2. Set both copy request to tunnel and use tunneled reply to yes. After logging into the CBW GUI, switch to expert view, navigate to management, and then admin accounts. Click on radius. Set the authentication call station ID type to IP address and the authentication MAC delimiter to no delimiter. Add the RADIUS authentication server and apply the settings. Next, move over to wireless settings. Here, I have one SSID called CBW150, which is the corporate SSID. Add a new WLAN and enable local profiling for more client host information. Set the security type to WPA2 Enterprise and the RADIUS compatibility to free RADIUS. Then add the RADIUS authentication server. Under the initial setup, I did not edit settings to use VLAN tagging. Therefore, by default, it would use the native VLAN or VLAN 1. In the advanced settings, set Allow AAA Override and click Apply. Create a new WLAN called VLAN 2 Provisional. The only purpose for this is to set VLAN 2 tagging you don't need to enable or broadcast it. Under the WLAN Security tab, select Free Radius for Radius compatibility. Set the security type to WPA2 Enterprise and click the button to add a Radius authentication server. Under the VLAN and Firewall tab, select VLAN tagging and set it to two. In the advanced settings, allow AAA override Similarly, set up VLAN 3 provisional, also without enabling or broadcasting it. Set VLAN tagging to yes and the VLAN ID to 3. Remember to allow AAA override. Now I've created a new SSID called My Wireless, as well as VLAN 2 provisional and VLAN 3 provisional, which are disabled. Using the IP config command, you can see the wireless LAN adapter Wi-Fi is set to VLAN 1 with an IP address of 172.16.1.104.
Now I will connect to my wireless and after entering the username and password set up in the Radius configuration server for VLAN 3, it is connected. You can see that the wireless LAN adapter Wi-Fi IPv4 address is in my VLAN 3 subnet, 192.168.3.104. To verify the configuration, I did a packet capture using Wireshark. Here, you can see the last Radius response is accept. Under the Radius protocol attribute value pairs, the tunnel type shown is VLAN, the tunnel medium type is IEEE 802, and the tunnel private group ID is 3, which is VLAN 3. Great. Everything is set up for authentication and assigning VLANs for Wi-Fi clients. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.